You Jews. You Jews. You take our land. You steal our water. You burn down our olive roads. You rob us of our dignity. You kill us every day. And then, when we have nothing left, you build a state and you build the most settlements. And then you come and you take the last thing that a man has. You take his home, my house, where my children play and will my wife cook them when I come home from dinner and you destroy it. When will you Jews learn? When will you leave us alone? When will you leave us in peace? Can I get you some pita and tea? <laughs> that was Salim's story and he was sticking to it. And that was their story, the Palestinians. I've heard it many times before. It was always some variation on the theme. A family member who owned a huge house somewhere outside of Jerusalem, where olive groves span acres, producing the most rich and ripe olives, now gone, destroyed by the Israelis. Their story was always the same, but my story changed during those months. It was Israel, it was 1999, and I was a grad student in Jerusalem. I had always wondered what it would be like to actually be in the West Bank. The West Bank is the swath of land that Israel took from Jordan, won in a war over 40 years ago after the Six Day War. Israel also inherited several million Palestinians betwixt and between either citizens of Israel or citizens of Jordan stateless. Those Palestinians lived a sort of twilight existence without any political power. Their lives were controlled by the civil administration in Israel, which had control over their houses, control over their waters, and the civil administration mostly composed of settlers who, who had decision-making power over building their own settlements, and which Palestinian houses would be marked for demolition. Now, Salim's house uh, you could see it, the village from our university. You could see out the window. It looked like a clump of structures. Uh, no telephone poles, no roads, just mystery. And the mystery that was the West Bank concealed to Israelis and American Jews was very much real, very much apparent to these Palestinians. Most Israelis thought that the Palestinian houses that were demolished were the homes of terrorists, a sort of deterrent policy meant to dissuade Palestinians from blowing themselves up or attacking an Israeli convoy. But in actuality, most of the Palestinian homes that were destroyed were simply homes that were built too close to an access room, or Palestinian homes that had built an extra house, say, for their son recently married. Demolition orders held over their head, and it was a way of controlling the population's policy. So there we were, rebuilding Salim's house. Israeli peaceniks, students from Hebrew University, radical church ladies, and other Palestinians. And as I took the pita and tea from Salim, I wondered to myself, did I really deserve such collective guilt? Was I really a you Jew? I wanted to be seen as somebody who was in solidarity, somebody who was not an oppressor, somebody who was helping out, being part of the solution. And I did it as a Jew, as a humanist, and as a Zionist. But this is not to be. The right-wing Israelis have this phrase which they frame for the Palestinians. They call them, it's from the Bible, they call them drawers of water and hewers of wood. Like as if that's the only thing they're good for. Now the original Zionists, a century ago, they had a phrase too. They said, we will build this land and we will be rebuilt. We had come from Europe, we were rebuilding and reconnecting ourselves to the land, reconnecting to our bodies, reconnecting to labor, reconnecting to industry. And it is through this rebuilding that we will create a new Jew. And so the new Zionist Jew, man and woman, would stand square-jawed, sun-kissed, staring into the Jewish future, always bright. We will build and we will be rebuilt. And I thought of this song, this slogan from the early Zionists, as I 
hammer nail into wood as I carried water to make mortar. And I thought to myself, in rebuilding their homes, these victims, our victims, these neighbors of ours, these Palestinians, as we rebuild their homes, we, we Jews, we build, we will be rebuilt.